the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. We already had a test run, so let's call it YouTube Workspace 2. Call it Demo Map. Give it an ID. Yes, author and a demo map for you ignore the hide in the water level for now. We are done with this. First thing we're gonna do is add a mountain. And we're gonna move it a little bit over there. A little bit higher. Down to the bottom. It's going to be this. And hit generate. Now we have our first mountain on the other one side. I want a second mountain on the other side, so go over there. Generate. And we have a second mountain over there. So the next thing we're going to do. Oh, you can also add more waypoints if you want another waypoint. We can also set one like right here. Just hit generate again. And If you wanted to have a look at it, you can just go and build the map. Here it is. What I forgot is I want a nice baseline map. So just rebuild it. What the baseline map does is basically creates a flat map with low bumps and hills and it adds all the mountains on top of it. Next thing we need is a river. I'll take four waypoints. I'm gonna go to the top. Over there. this get down like this and another waypoint move out of the picture might want to have this river somewhere on the side of this mountain range River. Some of the waypoints are going to be the 65 and 55.
800, like this. Let's set diversity to 15. And generate those two rivers. Let's have a look. How they had made a look. Oh, that might be nice. Let's see if we can go just a little bit better. No. Alright. This one looks good. So, but what you see is uh, it cuts the river really deep. So I raise the river level just a little bit and rebuild it. You see that the valley goes deeper now, closer to the river. That was too deep. Just a little bit better. All right, I like this one. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit. I like this. Okay. Now, since we're done with the height map, we can change the view to assets and just hit material map. So first we get like a lot of sand area and we just want the river to be sand so we need to set this value just a little bit lower and rebuild. This one looks quite nice. Maybe ninety five. Done with the material map, let's do the berries map. Steepness basically describes how steep the mountains can be that the resources still grow there or are set there. So berries might not grow on two steep mountains, so let's set it to twenty. Density ten is already pretty abundant, so let's set it to eight group to 4 and this one is important the min value should be above the grass level so let's set it to 120 and build the berries map berries are spread nicely over the whole map so let's do the same with stone stone should be a bit steep amount as possible, maybe 30. Density should be less. Grouping can be less. Can be a little, just a little bit higher. So let's build the star map. There it is, also spread very nicely. And the last, almost last thing will be iron, that can go to 35. Density should be less, grouping is off. Uh, one from an height from 200 to 1000. Wow, oh, that's too much. Maybe better. Now fish, we're going to be setting it on 100. 
set this value really low when you have a river so it's not on the shores. We have the fishing grounds. So we can add a few tree maps. First tree map will be in the valley area. So we're gonna set this one to fifth, well maybe twenty is okay. Set this one just above river level and going up to three hundred density maybe just a little bit less. We're gonna have oaks, sycamore and poplar. We're gonna set the oaks just larger than the other trees. And we'll give it a yellow uh, a red taint and we add a yellow taint. And for the fun of it, just add some purple. Alright. Now we can build the tree map. Mm -hmm. okay. When I set down the steepness, there won't be so much trees. Just a little bit higher. Alright, then I can add a second one. These are all gonna be pine. Pine, pine, pine. One will be normal, one will be dark, and one will be blue. I'm just going to change this just a little bit. Mm. I'll just keep it this way. This will be just a little bit higher. Going from 300 to 1000 is okay. And there it is. Now we can have a look at it. Trees combined. You can see the white area is. I can change this one to blue and this one to normal. And redo the. Trees combined, you see this is now colored in blue, and this one is colored in light red. So, you see where the tree areas will go. I'm gonna be setting this one to 30 because I need more trees in the mountain areas. to the trees combined. You can see where that we have more trees in the mountainous areas. <coughs> After we got this done we just set two villager paths. One will be at five hundred maybe four hundred This one. Okay, I need to change this one too. Oh, 
right. After we got this done, we need to revisit the map info. And since our map is oriented from the top to the bottom, we're going to switch the axis so we can see the river. So it actually already looks quite nice. Let's see what it suggests. So after all we got this part done, we can go on cook map, just deselect what you can deselect because we already built all these maps. Click cook and there it is. Got your maps, you got your mod JSON file and your mod Lua file. So we just go back here. Change this one to Copy the whole folder, go to our mods folder, add our map, and hit start. And there we are in the game. So we can click on new map, select demo map. River. Beach areas are too steep so it doesn't show the sand. And some trees are growing so you have to really play with all the parameters to get the correct values. But after all, not the worst result. there you just need to check, just start, uh, look for a good starting point, start the game once. <coughs> See if the village is at the end where you enter is on the correct village path and the traders enter into the map. That's all said and done, you can pack it up and load it up to Mod.io.